Hey y'all, it's the RTV in the house, coming at you with an exceptionally long side quest adventures part 3. The reason for that is because now we're going to use the items we've won in the previous temples and we're going to unlock some cool shit. First we're going to head up to that vendor spot that seems to be covered in rocks, but that's actually dust. We're going to use a gust jar and suck it all out. When we come back, leave town and come back, there'll be a dude there selling some cool stuff. Now this kid at the game shop wants a few skin stones. That unlocks a path and cast a wild, sweet. check everyone else who wants to fuse skin stones or if they don't and then we're going to enter the bar or pub or whatever the restaurant and the long haired lady in the red dress wants to fuse skin stones Let's see what happens here bam That'll come in handy later. So we're gonna run around, check everyone else. And we're into the game shop, and there's a new item. A large quiver. That can hold a buttload more arrows. Oh. 50 arrows, that's a whole lot. And for someone like me who doesn't use it that often, that is so many. Don't even need to refill that often. Or ever, really. Well, for me. Alright, and then we're going to head to one of the three sisters there. Use Kinstones with her, who is looking for a house. And we're going to subscribe to the newsletter if you didn't see that. And fuse skin stones with the forest minish back in the minish village. The guy in the bottom left corner of the map. Another path in Castor Wilds. Alright, just run around the minish village. Alright, if you remember that other Minish guy that was in the, uh, to the left of the Minish village, he'll now fuse a Kinston with you, and that will unlock something special. Boom! Beanstalk. Also, the cave is still on, still, uh, hidden, but that's okay. It is only a Game Boy Advance game. But we're gonna head on over to that beanstalk. Climb on up. Boom! A heart piece. What? And 200 rupees. Good thing we've been spending our money. Otherwise, it'd have been a waste of a treasure. And a waste of some uh, shells. But uh, those don't count matter as much. OK, 
Okay, and we've head back to the Hyrule Castle. And to the right side will be unblocked by guards, and if you crash in the tree, you'll unlock a, a, a stump. Oh, it can turn your minish. Can't recall the name right now. Just gonna explore a little bit. And a minish dude that wants to fuse kinstone pieces, alright. And another tree unbends, which is still boggling my mind. Gonna head up this little hidden room right here. Some more mysterious shells that aren't that mysterious. And we can head over to the left side. Mysterious shells. Alright, now we'll head back up the mountain. And in the mountain minish, we've been digging, digging, digging. Walked a few kinstones. Well, mo half of them at least. That's a chest. Ah. And naturally, the head, uh, head dude wants to fuse king some pieces. I'll hopefully unlock something very nice. Another beanstalk, which can only mean good things. people just remember the mountain minish what there's just two of them that didn't want to fuse kinstones so it's very worth to head up there and do some fusion <laughs> bam a little chunk of change right there Alright, 
check that out. Money, 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 and a heart piece. Good thing we spent almost all our cash so we can find all this new money, money. So we're gonna head back to that uh, little rainy spot. A little deadly rainy spot. Kingstone piece, all right. Come in handy later. Head uh, up that uh, mountain where we got our, where we got the climbing, climbing rings. That one moon that we couldn't get into before. Now we can, and not like that. So if you haven't guessed it, just, uh, spot two of you each end and just step on the switches. Bam! A heart piece. Two chests, that's baller. And the Swordmaster wants a few skin stones. This is like the greatest room that we found yet. Swordmaster is, because we're learning everyone's attacks. Tricky, but BAM! That's cool! Alright, now we're gonna head over to the other treasure that we've unlocked on this mountain. The Mount Krennel Spring. Damn, another kinstone piece. Not bad. No Istamalo. Now we're gonna head on over to Castor Wilds. Another treasure chest. More kinstone pieces. Again, not bad. Sweet, just made it. Another treasure chest, let's see. More kinstone pieces. Not a bad prize. I mean, I would like some cash or, you know, heart piece. But can't complain, cannot complain. I'm gonna head on over the use the path to the wind runes. Boom, there's a cave I missed last time. I apologize. If you got it, then you can just uh, skip ahead. But if you didn't, then you got yourself a new kingstone piece. A booyah. And now we're gonna keep moving forward. And then. We're gonna get some more cool stuff here. Another little planted bean, as you can see. So we're gonna shrink 
jump down and we're gonna head back over. As you can see, there's little vines we can climb down. So we're just gonna try all of them. This one goes to the ground. The other one on the right goes to the ground. Can't really do anything on the ground. Or the lower level, I should say. But we're gonna hit the one in the middle now. That leads to another room. Okay. We're just racking up hearts. Right now, if you're following my tutorial, you are very glad you are. Alright, now we're gonna head to that room that the kid was looking in. Simon Simulations. Too bad we're already the hero we are. But, we're gonna play anyway. Because you will get a very special prize. Ten rupees is very worth it. We're going to take care of all of these fools. Could be fancy and try some of the moves you've learned, but I find button mashing works very well here. Well, button mashing and the boomerang. Boom, finishes with a full full health meter. Bam! Another heart piece. Told ya. Worth it. Alright, now we're gonna head on over to that one guy that's looking for a tenant. Match make right now. Gotta give it to the mailman, he has some jumps. Okay, we're gonna play the chicken game right now. As you can see, the first one, three and what, 30 seconds is very easy. Well, it feels good that you get rewarded. Four and thirty seconds, it's not so hard. You're gonna encounter the golden chicken now. Now as you can see it's a lot more rambunctious. You can't hold it for long. It'll run away very quickly. And of course, you fetch more chickens, you get more money, more shells. Keep getting out. But uh, if 
believe me, at this point, if you're trying to do it all right now like I am, it's you're very frustrated. Very, very frustrated. But yeah, if you've been noticing, if you do enter a house, then you end the game, so... Pretty much when you have a lot more chickens, just have your boots on and just run at them. So now that we've maxed out our money, we're going to head on over to the post office. Work on those uh, subscriptions. Since we do have the money to spend. It will cost 200 rupees every time. But... Some of them do have useful tips. Not the earlier ones, but, you know, the, the later ones will. And, you know, I've played this like three times, so there are some tips that I, even I didn't know. Some useful ones. Some start mashing buttons, what? See, that's a good rumor. And, you know, depending on how many Sword Masters you've seen, or how many times you've seen them, that's how many subscriptions that will be out. Best features the fact that she can take over your body. It's a ridiculous feature. And I just can't believe that happened. What I was trying to do is even up my cash. Oh, King selfies. Sweet. I am That's a good, both well, good tips that I didn't realize, because I'm just a button masher, at heart. Light arrows, sweet, light arrows and mirror shield, and magical boomerangs, upgrades that we need so much. Well, you don't really need them, but, I mean, come on. Those are some awesome weapons. As you can see, it's not out yet, which means you need to learn another technique. Which we will. So...
We're gonna come back later. Right now, since we have some free uh, space in our wall, we're gonna catch more cuckoos. And this is all leading up to a good uh, prize at a uh, certain point. I mean, the game keeps going and going, but... I know after a certain point, you get a special prize, and I won't ruin it for you. King Stone Piece. And a hundred rupees. Bam. Okay. It's not that special prize, but it's a it's a peak. It's a peak that you reach at this point. But okay, we're gonna go to the sword master, and you want to do this after you do the cuckoo, and you'll see why because of this next technique. That's why you run in. If you run into a chicken, they will be going crazy. So, you already got up to 100 rupees on your kinstone piece. You don't really need to do the cuckoo anymore. Although, just for you, I'll play it to the end and I'll show you what happens in the later walkthrough or side quest. But as you can see, that unlocked the new uh, newsletter. Monster, I already touch all about that one. We also knew that one. Techniques we can right now. Naturally, there's no subscription. Okay, you can find a few kinstone pieces in this uh, cave we found under town. And you head down and push a rock into the hole. And as you can see, there's two more, so two more places hidden under town. Now that we know we can use this claw to open those spaces up. Bam, you guessed it. Now we gotta go exploring. I'm gonna head back to that one spot we were looking at before by the hermit. Alright, infusing the kinstone with the wall. What's up? Let's see. And that's 
this was a... That's uh, another reason we're gonna have to look for these spots on the walls, so we can, or these caves in the walls, so we can find the walls where we can fuse kinstone pieces and get more goros to help out with that uh, was also over there. That will lead to something very special, I believe. Sweet. Let's keep moving forward. Another spot in the wall. Awesome. Exactly what we're looking for. Get more Goro help. We need four for this one, so we're gonna need to find another wall with a spot we can fuse against no piece. gonna head out. We're gonna head over to that tree that was unbent earlier. Boom! If you dig around the two middle spots, you get some money money. Alright, now we're just gonna head on over to this Minish guy that was in the bottom corner of the map. If you saw that bean stock, then naturally you know what's gonna happen. Or that, uh, planted bean. Stone piece. Another spot on the wall, that original path we took in the beginning of the game. Treasure chest. Alright, we had the long on branch, we can shrink down. Chest we got unlocked earlier. Okay, sound piece. Keep moving forward. Heart piece. Bam. And you can walk around. There's a little path made for you. None of the cows want to fuse kinstones or anything, so I'm kind of used. So, going back home and bam! Grandpappy wants to fuse some kinstones. Money, 
money. Or a treasure chest. Uh -huh. ourselves a red potion. Very good fusion. You can never have too many empty bottles. We're just gonna put out the fire with that water, and I'll come back to you with part two of this Psychos adventure next time.